Laser. Laser. We have the laser. There's the laser. Begin laser. Ignition sequence. Hello there, Riddle here. This is still the best looking gameplay just on a standalone Quest 2 headset to date. This game is old but gold. You'll be amazed and wonder how a mobile CPU be able to render such beautiful graphics on your headset. I've played this before and on my second playthrough now, I've been able to look further into the details and review why this still stands as the most realistic looking game to date. Now, here's my spoiler-free review and why it is a must-have for Quest 2 players playing just on a standalone headset. But before that, I will appreciate if you subscribe. Red Matter is a puzzle-solving, atmospheric, brooding adventure set in an alternate timeline, Cold War in space. But the match isn't over as long as the pieces are able to move. Okay. Your tool-filled spacesuit glides around and grapples with the brilliantly evoked world, which often has Half-Life vibes. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have a gaming PC yet, this is the closest thing you can try to feel that Half-Life Alex game. Minus the shooting, of course. You can tell that the developer pushed what the Quest 2 headset can handle with these Unreal Engine custom enhancements. Compared to other standalone VR games, it is like moving from PlayStation 2 graphics to PlayStation 3 quality of graphics. The game visuals are breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking! The multiple light source, the reflections, the distance fog, the glass refractions no doubt contribute to the immersion in VR. Look at this scene and count how many reflections this laser light produced from the surfaces. One of the chair, two of the walls, the vases, the picture frames. The game sets you view. to investigate a Soviet base at the Saturn moon. Damn it, coming back. You're out of range. Really did good. The best thing they did here is the grappling tool you this. use is well integrated to the Quest 2 controller um, you physically hold. Really and this approach the helps trigger, trick your brain to attach the real physical thing to the virtual world, that. which in return body. enhances the immersion. <laughs> We actually just need three fingers in the real world. Even the controllers are made for three fingers. Pointing with the index, gripping with the thumb, and the middle finger gives the stability. But how will Spider-Man do the web thing, you know? Uh, I don't know how would Spider-Man do it with just three fingers. Maybe uh, like this, something like that. Movement is also well designed, helping ease the motion sickness brought about by movement in VR. This would greatly help new VR players who did not earn their VR legs yet. Gameplay is really story driven, where you solve puzzles and puzzle difficulties pretty easy. If you are looking for harder difficulty, I suggest The Room VR. You'll be able to complete the game in just about 3 hours. Here's how I rated some of the popular VR puzzle games in the market nowadays in my other video. Red Matter has set the standards of what a mobile CPU in VR can do, which I hope fair. other the developers glass. will follow. The it glass. should serve as a lesson not to be lazy in porting games in VR and that high visual fidelity somehow gives a higher impact in VR than on screens. There are a lot more titles with great graphics like Lice Beneath, The Room VR, Star Wars games and a lot more and that is why I'm excited to our VR 
future. I hope you like this episode. See you on the next. Bye bye. Time for your vaccine. You. There you go. Easy. There you go. Good boy. Nicely done. So cool.